the funky soul food Hungry but I'm old school Spit fire but so cool Wisdom for your mind Representing soul food Humble but I'm boastful Sickening with the vocals Gifted with the rhymes Hey, what's up guys? I'm Carlo Nuevo Today, I'm gonna get you started making music and reason Trust me, the basics are not hard to learn and Once you get around them, there's no limit to what you can do in fact, I'll be showing you everything you need to get started in just 10 minutes. Possible, you say? Watch me. To demonstrate what we're doing, I'm gonna give you a reason walkthrough in the same amount of time it takes to boil an egg. Okay, that's a slightly boring way to demonstrate our point. Why don't we spice it up a bit? Jesse, can you help me out? Absolutely. Why don't you take a seat? Hey, I thought you said this was an artist feature. Nope. So, your first 10 minutes in Reason. I'm gonna start just like you would if you're launching Reason for the very first time. Before we start making music, we just need a quick setup so Reason knows where to send sound out, how to get sound in, and whether or not we have a keyboard plugged in. The audio device you choose could be as simple as the built-in output on your laptop, a sound card with its own driver, or any plug and play interface like Balance that works out of the box on a Mac but with any standard ASIO driver on Windows. For the sample rate, you can either leave it at the default or you can set it higher if your sound card supports it. The default is fine for us, but just know, all of these settings can be changed at any time in the application's preferences, so don't worry if you're unsure of the perfect settings quite yet. If you've got a keyboard plugged in, Reason needs to know about it so you can play the instruments in Reason's rack. If you click the Auto Detect button, many keyboard models will be recognized automatically and set up for you. If your keyboard isn't detected, we can always set it up later in the preferences. And that's it for our setup. Now let's dive right into Reason. Let's make a track together. Choose New Song and click Finish. Welcome to Reason. What you see here is the starting and ending point for all your musical ideas to come. The amount of potential in this relatively small window is pretty mind-blowing. But this one window actually has three different views. Making music in Reason happens in a rack, the sequencer, and the mixer. You can switch between them using the F5, F6, and F7 keys, drag your window dividers if you prefer, or even detach the views and have three separate windows to position however you like. Each of these views have specific roles in your music. You can think of it like the creating your sound section, the recording your sound section, and the perfecting your sound section. Since all great music starts with a great sound, let's go to the rack by pressing F6. You can already see the rack has some effect devices preloaded in there for us, and that's great. We'll be using those later on. But what we don't have yet are instruments, so let's create an instrument and get some music going. I'm not sure about you, but when I'm making music, I usually start with the drum beats. So, go to the Create menu and choose Create Instrument. Here's Reason's Patch Browser. The factory sound bank is full of instrument presets and loops. I'm interested in drum loops, so I'm gonna go to the Dr. Rex drum loops folder, and I'm a fan of Death Cat for Cutie, so let's see what these Jason McGurr loops sound like. Let's go for a basic rock beat. I can click any loop to preview how it sounds and find one I like. All right, I love this one. It's simple, but has a really good feel to it. Once I click OK, you can see that Reason has loaded the Dr. Octorex loop player in our Jason McGurr loop. If I press play, our loop will play back. It's a little fast, so let's pull a tempo down. That's cool. What I like about this beat is it has syncopation. Do you hear those little ghost notes in the upbeat? Why don't we try adding a delay to the signal to enhance that even more? Let's do it. Let's add some effects to our drums. Open the tool window and click on the devices button. Click the creative effects and drag the echo into the rack just beneath our Dr. Octorex device. At first, our delay is set to 100% wet, meaning we're hearing all of the delayed sound with none of the original. Let's pull it back to 100% dry and blend in a little delay sound until we like it. Yeah. See what I mean? Our beat has a little extra bounce. Here it is without. And here it is with. You can add more effects to your sound 
by simply dragging more devices into the rack in the same way. Let's drag in a pulverizer for some extra beef to the sound. We'll dial the settings back a bit. And let's add some analog tape simulation with the Audiomatic Retro Transformer. Why don't we do this? Let's add some reverb. So let's click on the studio effects and drag in RV7000 Advanced Reverb. Let's choose a drum preset. Drum hall sounds good to me. And again, we want to adjust the wet dry balance for a tasteful blend. You know what? That reverb's really not working for me. But the beauty of Reason is that we can experiment like this all day long and just undo our way back to where we started. So let's undo until that reverb goes away. You can see each time I hit undo, we move one step back. Our wet dry knob goes back up, our preset goes back to default, and our reverb goes away. We can undo as many times as we want, which gives us the freedom to experiment with our sound even more. Let's load another loop, but this time let's go for an instrument. Create instrument, Dr. Rex instrument loops, bass loops, synth bass, <laughs> raw sushi sounds cool. Let's check it out. Yeah, you know this loop was made by Kill the Noise and Death Cab for Cutie and Kill the Noise. Why don't we mash them up and load us with our Jason McGurr loop? Nice. Let's soften up this bass a little bit though. Let's open up the Dr. Octorex and adjust the filters on it. I'll pull down the cutoff frequency and bring up the resonance for a fatter sound. All right, I'd say that's a pretty good start. But I think it's time to go beyond loops. Why don't we add our own performances to the song? We go to the same place, create instrument, but this time let's choose all instrument patches. I'm thinking let's add a chord pad, so I'll choose pads. And evolving? Here you can see every evolving pad preset and reason. You can click on each one, just like you did with the drum loops, to audition its sound. The only difference, unlike the loops, is that you actually have to play something on your keyboard to hear the sound. Let's go with this. Now it's time to record our performance. That happens in the sequencer view, so I'll press F7 to bring it up. You can see the two tracks for the loop players, and since we just created it, our pad sound is already selected in the sequencer and ready to record. Right now I'm just working on a 4 bar loop for the song, so I'll set the right loop locator to a 4 bar loop. In the transport bar, I'll activate loop mode so it repeats the first four bars. Click the pre button to enable a pre-count so I can get ready before the recording starts and then click record. Great! I like the part, but maybe the sound gets in the way of the drums and bass. At any point, I can go back, audition other presets while my song is playing, and hear the changes in real time. Like this. I'll drag the window separator down to reveal the rack and click the load preset button to bring back up my patch browser. Much better. Okay, let's record some audio now. You ready, J-Dog? Please hurry. I thought so. I've got my microphone plugged into balance. I'll choose the mic input and click Create Audio Track and Reason. Test, one, two, check. Test, one, two. All set. So far, we're working with just a four bar loop, but for my vocals, I want to extend that. I'll just go to my sequencer, select all, copy, and then paste a few times to create a longer loop to wrap over. Let's record. Yo. Uh, no hesitating, I'm elevating with every step I'm taking in the game, levitating like a plane. Until I reach the tap, till there's nothing left to gain. Spit venom, every direction is injected in my veins. The fresh is in the game, I'm destined to be king. Respect me and my gang, I'll get ejected out the frame. For stepping in my lane, you get left out in the rain. I'm the best kept secret, I'm a legend in the making. I'm happy with this. Let's jump quickly over to the mixer by pressing F5 and do a little mix. I'll move my pad over to the right side and I'll boost its level a little bit more. Remember those effects devices we said we'd be using later on? Those are wired into the mixer in a section called the sends. We can send a little bit of any track to these effects by activating their send button 
and dialing in the right amount. We'll put some plate reverb on the pad and some room reverb on the drums. Okay, let's check to see how we're doing on time. Whoa, it's all right. No, trust me, trust me, it's cool. We're gonna go skip to the next section. You're really not missing that much. Hey guys, can we fast forward to something? Just. <laughs> So that's it, your first 10 minutes in Reason. I hope you enjoyed making music. There's plenty more tutorials and inspiring artists on our YouTube channel, so have a look around and subscribe to stay up to date. I guess I'm done. It's easy enough, why do I feel like I'm forgetting something? Oh, that's right. My egg is done. Yeah, I wonder can they see me now? Even though I'm underground.